Hi there, Libra. Welcome to your mid-March, or I'm going to say end of March because it's a little bit too late for mid, although this is exactly down the middle, but anyway. Um, end of March 2023, General Tarot Update. It's Raina here. I've already put out your April astrology, so you can check on that for more info on what is happening in that sense. You are having a full moon in your sign in the month of April, so that should be, oh, interesting. Okay, okie dokie. So... Okay. The heart of the matter is the uh, Eight of Pentacles. This is a card of the, sometimes this can be the apprentice who is learning a trade. This can be someone who is really fastidious about their work. They're trying to do a good job. Um, if this is related to love, for instance, sometimes I think of someone who's maybe even trying too hard to make something work um, and assuming all the responsibility for that relationship um, instead of realizing that it takes two. In the past position, we have the Ace of Wands. Um, this is one of those situations where I am almost thinking that this is, even though this is supposed to be past position, that this might relate to the equinox period or the day after, because I always associate this with uh, Aries energy. The ace is the beginning, and that's the beginning of Aries season. The 20 and the 21st are these days that are connected to the new cycle of Aries in a big way. And with the eight of pentacles, you could be, you know, really intently working on your career or your actually pentacles. The, the, the ones are more about career and the pentacles is more about the work itself. It's kind of like the sixth and the 10th house to me. In astrology, the sixth house is the actual work and the 10th house is the career. Um, and so some of you may be starting a new career. And, I, and I'm not saying that you're necessarily 22 or 24 years old. You might be 44 years old and you're starting something new and you're very diligent about this. You know, you want to make it work. The higher message is the six of wands. This is a card of recognition. This is a card of taking your bow. So it really speaks well on you for some reason. I'm assuming because you are doing such a great job that you are getting accolades, but this is on the spiritual level. So I would say that um, it's almost like even though people may notice you for, you know, your talents, you're doing it for the work itself. You're doing it for how it's going to impact others. You're not as concerned about, oh, I want to do this so that somebody will approve of me. And because of that, you may uh, garner a lot of respect from others because they will see that your heart is really in it in a very um, authentic kind of a way. What crosses you is the emperor. So this is um, sometimes it can be one of those, I was going to say the fly in the ointment. So if this is like a new boss, this person may be very controlling and exacting and you may be doing a great job, but this person might not be satisfied. And I think, again, 
that is why the six of wands is showing up because it is connected to Leo. And I think that the highest version of Leo is somebody who is confident because they know that they are talented. They don't need another person to tell them that. As soon as somebody needs that outer, you know, stamp of approval, that is really kind of indicating a, a sense of insecurity in a way because we're not, that's not what we need. We, we don't need anybody to, to uh, validate us. And I think though that this could be an inner critic that just came into my mind uh, right now, as well as um, it's right below the eight of pentacles. So if you had like a father figure, a male authority figure, or an Aries person in general who was very authoritarian, um, that person may have been quite um, negative towards you uh, and you feel like you have something to prove. And I think that's what the, the six of wands saying you have nothing to prove. You know, you're, you are very talented and that's all that matters. And the reason that I think that this is coming out, this may not resonate with all of you, especially if you are not starting a new job, but this to me is even like a new career, like a second act in your life. Or if this is, if you're first, if this is you starting out, like if you are on the younger side and this is your first serious job and you really want to make a good impression, um, you might be trying too hard and you're trying to please this person who is never going to be satisfied. That's why that card is, is in the challenge position because that is coming from within them themselves. They have something, uh, usually these kinds of people, they have a lot of negative, uh, they have a negative attitude towards themselves. So, when they don't accept somebody else, it's because they don't accept themselves. And it's very tricky because they may have a critical eye. And I mean that in a positive sense where they're able to really pinpoint when somebody is, you know, needs improvement. So you can really believe that their opinion is valid, which it may be, but they may be overly critical as a way to control the situation to make you feel like you are never measuring up because that's a way that they can feel more in control of the situation. What's coming in is the nine of pentacles. And this is the card of, um, of independent, um, of standing on your own two feet financially. So how this can, what this can do, this can be a motivating factor for you. Um, that you're like, I'm going to make sure that I am financially independent because then I can pick and choose what I decide to do. If I want to work for somebody else, I will, but I don't feel forced. And by the way, like I said, sometimes the eight of pentacles can be in terms of love situations and the nine of pentacles can be, I want to be, um, my own person. Another thing I want to point out too, because I do see the Ace of Wands as associated with Aries, is that there is going to be a solar eclipse in Aries in April, and this is going to be in your seventh house of committed partnership. So there are going to be triggers to your first house and your seventh house um, in 2023. Libra. And this is really about yourself versus a partner or a potential partner. And you are going in the next couple of years, you're going to have to, um, learn how to mo moderate, um, navigate your need for independence, which the nine of pentacles can indicate on the more practical level, the material level with your need for a relationship. So for some people, 
if you have been in a relationship that has been very problematic or stagnant in some way, um, you may see changes in that relationship, whether you like it or not. And the best thing you can do is to embrace change, not to fear it, try to, you know, cling to something. If, you know, another person decides to end it or if circumstances create this ending or, or at least temporary splitting up of the relationship for whatever reason, that you, you know, are grateful for that, that you're not like thinking this is the worst thing in the world. Um, because I'm talking about challenging relationships here. Um, the emperor can be a very difficult individual. And if this is you, this could be like you feeling out of control in your life in some way and needing to, you know, maybe you're in control with your, with your work life, but your personal life has gone to the dog. So, you know, needing to, to, to take responsibility on your end, even if somebody else is problematic, if you just think, oh, wow, that person, I need that person to, um, ship up <laughs> or ship, no, shape up and ship out, uh, shape up, you're ignoring the fact that you have some free will in that connection and you can decide what you're going to do. You don't have to wait for somebody to do something. That's codependency, actually. The outcome is the strength card. And this kind of goes along with that, this idea of being realizing that you uh, hold the power, that it's not somebody else's decision. So uh, that also applies to work matters because you may be trying so hard to gain this sense of, um, you know, somebody approving of you and noticing your talents that you are, that it weakens you, that it actually makes you feel more insecure. And when you start to build up that self-confidence, there's no stopping you because you, your cardinal sign, you're very proactive, but the thing about Libra is they have to make their, up their mind because when you're in that state of like not sure what to do, which that could be like the emperor in reverse, that sense of disempowerment, you may be questioning yourself, second guessing yourself, and you, you don't take those inspired actions. Okay, let's look. I'm just going to cut this deck. I have it right on the side in half, and I'm going to pick this card. This is a new deck, and it's kind of hard to lift up each card. It's a matte card. Okay, so we have here Mercury. And they say messages. Um, and I don't know. Um, yeah, there's going to be probably sometime in the end of March. Yes. Actually, that is absolutely correct. That Mercury is going to be in Aries in March. And that means that it is going to be in that seventh house and Mercury is the messenger. So this is about the messages that you receive verbally, but also the silent messages, the unspoken words, um, you know, whether this is a partner, whether this is some kind of a business situation, if you have been in partnership or, um, you were thinking about going into partnership with someone, um, you know, the, the phrase that just came into my mind was actions speak louder than words. So you have to be able to, uh, I, I feel like you have to be able to go it alone either way. Libra prefers to always be in partnership, but sometimes you have to be able to go it alone in order to, uh, especially if you're trying to make decisions about something, um, because sometimes people are not trustworthy. Sometimes people aren't going to, they're, they are going to let you down. Um, and sometimes you need to leave a situation 
because you're not getting your needs met. But you also have to tune into yourself. Are you expecting too much from someone else that they can't possibly give? You're, you might be working on yourself. Maybe that's what the eight of pentacles is about, but you're not quite, um, embracing the fact that you are trying to get that validation from someone else instead of, um, you know, believing in yourself. That's what the strength card to me ultimately means. That's to me what confidence is, believing in yourself, regardless of what the outer world thinks. If they even know, they even know anything about the situation. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.